to my channel my name is Roxanne if this is your first time here hello welcome um, I recently finished reading flowers for Algernon by Daniel Keyes and I really wanted to talk about it because it really had an impact on me I gave it five out of five stars and I think it touched on a lot of very important aspects I think the way that it the story was told was great um, and so I wanted to share a little bit of my thoughts with you guys um, this book is about this boy named Charlie who was born with a very, very low IQ and so his parents have, were always trying to um, fix him. They wanted him to be, especially his mom, wanted to be normal like all the other kids. Um, and then he was ultimately abandoned when not, none, none of the things that they did seemed to work. So he was ultimately abandoned. He was um, taken to his uncle's to live and he's been living with him and living and working at this bakery ever since and so as an adult he enrolls in this school for individuals who have lower, lower IQs like him and want to continue to learn and expand their knowledge and he is chosen to be part of this experiment which is which aims at increasing in the intelligence of an individual that has very that has very low IQ like Charlie so far it's only been tested on the rat Algernon and it has been successful on Algernon he is they can see through tests and things like that that he is learning at a very rapid rate that he is surpassing the intelligence of those around him even other rats that have gone through the, the procedure so Charlie is entered into this into this procedure and he and everything is told through progress reports and so they sound almost like journal entries and so you see through his through his journal entries how how low his IQ is and so that's done on purpose so that you can see the development and so it's successful but then he be, his intelligence begins to surpass even though even that of the scientists who created the experiment and who were trying to make his IQ higher and so he has to deal with that and then all of a sudden Algernon starts to behave very erratically where then they sort of have to deal with and, and wonder what's going to happen to Charlie so that, that's pretty much the gist of, of the story I think this book is beautiful it's it's very heartbreaking it's very impactful everything the entire the entire book is told through I'm gonna put it down because I want to save the specific uh, page because I want to read you guys a quote from it um the entire book is told through those progress entries and you are able and I love that because you are really able to see through grammar spelling syntax everything how Charlie begins to develop you see slowly how he his intelligence begins to improve you see every and you see how he begins to grapple with understanding or not those around him understanding the things that are happening to him and so I think that is that was a very powerful way to tell the story because it really it allows you to see everything from Charlie's perspective it allows you to really understand his thoughts his wishes his dreams everything that that hurts or ails him and and how that begins to change or become worse as time goes on after the experiment despite the fact that it was written mostly in progress reports um a lot of them are said to be transcribed from things that he records so you, you still have the quotation marks of he said this, she said this, and so you never feel disconnected from the story. It never feels cold or rushed or or anything like that. You still feel like you are part of the story. You feel like you are really getting everything that is happening. You're getting everything that's in Charlie's head. And so um, that was, I guess, when I started to read it and I realized that that was the way in which it was going to be told, I, I'm worried a bit that maybe I wouldn't be able to get immersed in the story as much as I could, as much as I would like, but that was not the case at all. If anything, I felt more involved because you are literally getting all of Charlie's thoughts because the scientists are 
are asking him to please be as as transparent as possible and so you see all of his thoughts and you see all of all of the conversations that he has with those around him, with those around him and you see him struggle to understand um and so it never feels like you you don't really know what's going on with the progress reports which i think is, is great because it it made for a powerful way to tell the story i think as charlie's um as charlie's intelligence begins to grow we see how um keys sort of lets us know how, how language can be both liberating and limiting at the same time as Lar as charlie begins to gain more intelligence and his vocabulary expands and he's able to to very quickly gain vast knowledge on many anything that interests him he can just sort of soak up that that knowledge he begins to he all of a sudden he is able to communicate but at the same time he it limits him because you see how if someone isn't isn't going to be receptive to what you're saying to them no matter how eloquent or how simple what you say is they're just not going you're not going to be on the same page because the person isn't receptive and then we also see the way that emotion plays into language and in the way that we understand each other charlie's intelligence grows almost exponentially but his he still has the emotional maturity of someone very young it never developed um due in part to he was abandoned as a kid and and give due in part to the fact that he had a very low iq so his life experiences were very limited and very different and so he was never never able to have that emotional maturity that you need to to still be able to communicate with those around him we see this uh, sort of ultimate thing that we all want be explored in this book, how we all want to be individual. We all want to be true to ourselves and, 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 and be able to showcase our individuality in whatever way that may manifest. But at the same time, we still want to have a connection with those around us. We still crave affection. We still crave friendships um, and and being able to share your thoughts and feelings with those that you trust and being able to even develop something like trust. And so there, there's this disconnect between Charlie's intelligence and his, um, his able to emotionally connect with those around him. And it really takes a toll on him. And it's just showcasing how really... <clears throat> both extreme both extremes are bad and how and and keys lets us know that extremes of anything are not good because when he had a really low iq either people were trying to change him or were trying to take advantage of him and he didn't he didn't really understand either way and then now that he is very intelligent uh, he can't connect with people. He doesn't have the patience to understand them and they don't have the patience to deal with him and understand what he's going through. They feel like he's showing off or something like that. And so he isn't able to get that emotional connection in, in either extreme. So um, we and we sort of explore that through Charlie's story and and I think it's I think it's beautiful and I think it's impactful and I also think it's heartbreaking to see and to to grapple with that as well maybe in our individual lives as well um this book i think um maybe not above all but definitely equally as important as all of the other things that it deals with it it deals with should we do something just because we can um should we should we do something like increase someone's intelligence is that our place do do what what consequences will that have shouldn't we shouldn't we first try to socially deal with how we treat individuals of lesser intelligence or how we treat anyone that we deem other um, whether that be a disability mental or physical or anything other than what we consider to be the norm those are the things that we have to deal with first and those are the things that we need to deal with and learn to accept before we we start thinking about fixing things you see you really see how how sad charlie's life was and how he is and and how people in his life dealt with the fact that he was someone of lesser intelligence and so there's this wonderful quote that i want to read to you guys 
and it says, how strange is it that people of honest feelings and sensibility who would not take advantage of a man born without arms or legs or eyes, how such people think nothing of abusing a man with, born with low intelligence. It infuriated me to remember that not too long ago, I, like this boy, had foolishly played the clown. And so obviously we have an issue with how we deal with individuals with disabilities, but we, a lot of the times we forget that not all disability and not all of not not all issues are visible not everything that people deal with is visible so something like a low iq something someone with a lower intelligence that's not visible just upon looking at a boy like charlie and so i think he brings i think he, the the character charlie and then obviously he's bring up a, a great point of Obviously, yes, we we know that we have a lot of work to do with, with individuals with disability, about accessibility, about visibility, and everything like that. Well, and then in that same vein, we have to realize that a lot of those are not visible. And, and how do we deal with that? And are we being accepting? And why do we, why do we, why do some of us feel like we can take advantage of that? Or why does that make us feel better or like the better person? because we might know something or understand something in a way that maybe others do not or cannot and so i think this book is amazing i think everyone should read it i think it deals with a lot of very important issues it's it's heartbreaking i felt the ending was a little bit a little bit predictable but it was still impactful nonetheless um i definitely recommend this i know i think that this is just a book that everybody has to experience for themselves and see what they take out of it um but yes i as you can probably tell i definitely really loved it i i i definitely think everyone should read it and i recommend it if you have read it please let me know down below what you think um please let me know if you want to read this if this sounds like something that you would want to read if you know anything that is like this and sort of if, if I like this, I might like another book. Please let me know down below. I love book recommendations. I love book recommendations and suggestions. So thank you so much for watching and for listening and for hearing my thoughts out on this book. And yeah, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Mwah.